this is Sart or Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech doing a response to the in response video that Tolarian Community College recently did. He hit on three topics that I'm really passionate about, and I'm gonna use a similar format to do responses here. This is gonna be a little bit of a low production video because I wanna get this out super quickly and talk about these issues a little bit less formally than I normally would. The three topics are recent bannings, is MTGO harmful, and should wizards give serious support to Paper Popper? Let's jump in here. I'm going to do 90 seconds on each of these. So for the first one here, let's talk about recent bannings. I did a full video on recent bannings. You can check that out. But I strongly believe that these aggressive bannings are bad for the environment, they're bad for new players, and they cause harm overall to the player base. I understand out of the three cards, one of them must be banned, Smuggler's Copter. Completely understand that. The other two though, Emmercool and Reflector Mage, those were a little bit rougher bannings overall. And if you aggressively ban too much in standard, you seriously harm players. The idea was brought up that you can aggressively ban in other digital games and not have a problem. But with Paper Magic, you cannot refund people. You cannot give them back those hundreds of dollars that they have lost creating a competitive deck. Wizards of the Coast needs to ban carefully, especially in the standard format. In older formats, that's a whole different situation. Modern completely understand the bans and what was going on there. But in standard, I don't want to see Wizards move to an aggressive ban position, which is what we are seeing currently with the addition of extra times in which wizards could ban. So I strongly agree that it is bad to have aggressive bans in standard, and wizards should be a little more careful. Whew. 90 seconds with... Uh, I, I haven't done script for any of these. I'm doing them off of my passion and... Uh, my thoughts over these kind of off the top of my head. This is a little bit tougher than I thought. Um, let's move on to is MTGO harmful here? And this was a really interesting discussion. Let's jump in here. Is MTGO harmful? Yes, it is a blight upon the magic community. For every player that is added to Magic the Gathering because of MTGO, five players don't end up playing Magic. The game interface is so bad. The losses that you have because you haven't played 500 games and learned the intricacies of this unintuitive interface are just terrible. When you compare it to Hearthstone or Duelist or Hex, the game is just so far behind the curve, it's not even funny. Wizards of the Coast needs to seriously look at scrapping MTGO, preserving people's collections, and transferring it into a new environment. Start with some of the cards in a way that not all of them are accessible and you have the option to redeem or get rid of those older cards that aren't accessible yet and then work towards making everything accessible but every time somebody loses because of a bad user interface you have a huge problem mtgo is also one of the most expensive online games i've ever played to just be really angry and unhappy with it I'm going to play it some because I love this game, but the professor is right on when he says that you're serving steak on a garbage can lid. It should be quashed and improved from the base up. Ooh, now you know how I feel about MTGO. I'm going to be streaming a little bit later this month um, some early MTGO stuff, and you're, you're going to hear my language change a little bit when that happens. Because I love Magic, and I love Vintage, and I love Legacy, and I want to play them online, and it's my only option. Oh, let's move on to the third one here. And I, I definitely recommend checking out uh, this whole video that 
uh, the professor has done um, very, very well done. Interesting points on both sides of these debates. And it really inspired me to, to do this response video. Let's go here, 90 seconds. Popper support. Yes, wizards, please support Paper Popper. One of the biggest issues for Magic the Gathering is how expensive this game is. It would be awesome to have a Popper GP, an official Paper Popper ban list. I have played in and interviewed people from the Popper tournaments that Wizards or that Card Kingdom does, and these tournaments are extremely popular. People love the idea of buying a low-cost deck. Every single person that you get into Popper is a potential customer for other formats. The pie of players is not zero-sum. The more people that you can get in with something awesome like Popper, the more positive impact it has on the entire community. This would be great for the secondary market. Yes, those cards will go up in value, and then wizards can print them all again. Wizards should make it be known that Popper is not meant as an investment format. It's meant as a gateway way to get people into the game to play awesome decks, wonderful archetypes, all over the place. They could even do a world championship of Popper and then print all of those decks for like 20 bucks a piece. How awesome would that be? Please, Wizards, look at this super popular format that is out there and support it. Get behind it. This is one of the most exciting formats out there. Well, now you know what I think. Recent bannings, be careful. MTGO, scrap it. Transfer people's collection over and start with a much better client. This is, it's just terrible. And Popper, awesome format. Please, wizard, support this. What are your thoughts on these three topics? Please leave them in the comments. Also head over to Talarian's channel and check out that full video. It is really well done. I love this type of debate over what's going on in the community. I may be doing another one of these if people like this format. Uh, this quick and dirty format. Thank you to everybody who's supporting the channel on Patreon. And if you guys want to play me online, please uh, friend me over on MTGO or uh, come play chess with me over at chess.com. Until next time, choose your cards wisely.